Hello, it's me again. Um, I'm sure some of you will remember I made like a big tortoise unboxing video a couple of years ago um, where I unboxed my tortoise from hibernation and he was hibernating in the fridge and it was a whole big thing and it went viral and stuff. Um, well, I wanted to do it again this year um, but I was caught off guard and basically had to take him out of hibernation early. But I still tried to make a video. I was quite unprepared, but I was just using my my phone. Um, so basically what happened is he, he hibernates in the fridge, as some of you know. And I check on him every day, just about, and I weigh him every week. And when I was checking on him today, it turned out that he had uh, urinated during hibernation. And I was like, oh, this isn't normal. So... I googled it and stuff and I looked up like the Tortoise Trust website and some other websites and the kind of consensus was that I need to take them out because if they urinate during hibernation they could suffer from acute dehydration which could be uh, fatal to them so I had to make a call either keep him in and risk um, him dying from dehydration or wake him up early. So I thought, safest thing to do, I'll get him up early, but I tried to film some of it, so here we go. Mm -hmm. here we go. Some people may be wondering why a fridge, and that's a whole thing, and I'd advise you to check out some of my old videos. And I've answered that question. Okay, here he is. So as I was saying, I'm getting him up early because I noticed that he urinated in hibernation. And you can see a, a bit of it there. And then when I looked that up, it looked to be really, really bad. And he could have suffered from acute dehydration. So I thought, I'll just get him up early. Right, pal, how are we doing? So, he's only been asleep for a month or so. So it shouldn't take too long to get up. As you can see, he's already opened his eyes a little bit. Looking super grumpy. Oh, pal. I know. It's just you're better safe than sorry. He was really meant to sleep for another three months. But after I read stuff about the urination during hibernation, I just thought it's best just to get him up. Because I wouldn't want him uh, dehydrating. Because that would be very bad. And you had a little nap anyway, so it's not so bad. So it looks like he's awake pretty quickly, which is quite surprising. His last, um, any other time I've got him, got him up from hibernation, he takes like a good five minutes or so to open his eyes. So I don't think he was in that uh, deep asleep. So what I'll do is I'll leave him here for a bit just to wake up and then once he's a bit more alert I'll give him a bath and that will hopefully hydrate him and get him back to his old self and then he'll be 
up and about for the rest of the year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, I've got my little bath, which is quite lukewarm and very shallow. And it's just to heat them up a little bit and also hopefully hydrate them and get some more water into the system because I was a bit scared that it might be dehydrated after uh, peeing in hibernation but everything looks okay and oh, is that a wee yawn? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll leave them in here for a bit to heat them up a little bit and then I'll get them under his lights and stuff. Okay, he's had his bath. He's pretty alert and hopefully hydrated. So now I'll get him back in his pen and heat him up even more. Okay, so this is Herman's pen. He's got his lights here and he's got his little old pot there for sleeping in and enough space to kind of roam around. And this is, he's got a heat lamp here and a UV strip here, which is very important. And that's him. That's him up and about now. Um, what I'll do is I'll keep giving him lots of baths and try to give him some food at some point. Although after hibernation, they usually don't eat for a couple of days. Um, and then I'll take him to the vet just for a little post hibernation checkup, make sure everything's okay. And that's us. And that's us. I hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was quite short and imprompt. Um, if you want to know more about the, the fridge stuff, the hibernation stuff, um, check out some of my other videos on YouTube. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment or something. And that's it. We're doing fine. I'll get him to the vet soon just to be doubly sure he's okay. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.